Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use colored pencils to create tints and shades. So for your project, you're going to need to incorporate some lighter versions and some darker versions using color pencil. So how you do this is you're going to take your base color. So I picked red. Okay, I'm going to be shading this red and then I'm going to be tinting it and shading it. So I'll show you how to do that. That's not good. Try to stay in the line. <laughs> okay, so I'm alternating it, crossing it different directions, filling the grain of the paper to get a solid base coat. Okay. And then for your tint, you're going to use white underneath. Put a little bit of white down everywhere. Can't really see where it's going you know it's there and then I'm going to use the same red and it's going to give me a pink also um, don't hold here when you're coloring a little less pressure is to just pull back on the pencil and alternate your direction And then you can also go over it with white again to kind of smooth it out. And that gives you a nice tint. So I'm filling in the grain of the paper. Okay, so you have a tint, your base color, and now the shade. The shade, you can also use a variance. If you have a big color pencil set, you could use a dark red <laughs> to make it a little easier. But if you don't have those, um, you can use your base color first and you're going to layer on a darker version or something that will make it darker. So a blue would work, a but that might make it purple. And I'm thinking a brown would look good. Okay. I'm going to just I just grabbed a little uh, brown and <clears throat> now I'm going to go lightly again not holding it here because it's going to create lines. Pull back on it and give it a darker shade, just kind of grazing over the red. Now it looks like a dirty red. <laughs> so I'm going to go back over it with the base color. So it's three layers for your shade. And back to Sorry, back to our base red. make it a little bit darker taking this brown if I put in black it would go even darker but sometimes it's very hard to hide the black so I try not to use black too much
Okay, there you go. You have your tint, your base color, and your shade using red. So you can incorporate this in your project.